We turn now to a record-setting birth. A 67-year-old woman in Spain is believed to be the oldest new mom in the world after giving birth to twin boys this week. She's part of a growing trend that has a lot of people asking, is science going too far? ABC's Christiane Klein has more. The headlines drew gasps of amazement from around the world. A 67-year-old woman in Spain giving birth to twins. The woman, whose identity hasn't been revealed, conceived through in vitro fertilization. But she's not the first woman to defy the biological odds. In 2005, a Romanian woman gave birth to this baby girl at age 66. She was considered to be the world's oldest mother until now. And in the United States, more women past traditional childbearing age are taking advantage of modern medicine to make their baby dreams a reality. Janice Wolfe, a 62-year-old grandmother and mother of 11, gave birth to a healthy baby boy last February in California. And Alita St. James, at age 57, gave birth to twins in November of 2004. I want to say go for your dreams. We never know how long we're going to be here. And you should never have any regrets. All of their babies were conceived through in vitro fertilization. And despite how happy these new moms are, their pregnancies have provoked criticism, saying these moms are just too old. One critic actually said there should be age limits on pregnancy, that the goal is to raise children, not orphan them. For Good Morning America, Christiane Klein, ABC News. And for more on the issue, we turn now to Glenn McGee, a, a medical ethicist at Albany Medical College and editor-in-chief of the American Journal of Bioethics. Good morning to you, doctor. How are you? So how old is too old? Well, that'd be 68 and a half. <laughs> are you uh, joking? I'm joking. I think it's actually become a kind of a, you know, in an odd way at reproductive medicine conferences these days, people follow these stories and ask, that's amazing how sure. did we get to 67 or 68 but it's interesting as people have passed the point of menopause uh, the question of exactly how far could you go could we make it to a hundred year old person who's pregnant has become a, a kind of a realistic sure. question what we aren't asking is the bigger question which is how old is too old for the kids how old is too old for society uh, when an older woman gives birth as she may very well have a right to try to do uh, it, it carries uh, risks. Mm -hmm. And ethical concerns, of course. So, so ethically, as a bioethicist, do you think there should be limits? I think there should be limits. Um, I, one of the odd things about proposing that, of course, is that men have had children at any age I was just for about a, to mention a very that. long time. Yeah. Right. So I don't know that you want to, I, I wouldn't want to be the person who condemned a woman at any age who pursued, uh, just as she said, uh, her wish, who didn't want to die without having uh, tried something. And after all, at least a third of the children in the United States are raised by their grandparents or other uh, relatives who are over age 60. Um, the question is, this, here we've got a procedure where there's really no demand. I mean, when I talk to my mom about this, she looks at me like I'm crazy. Right. You know? This is not people lining up to be 67-year-old moms anywhere in the world. Uh, I think at the end of the day, there's a concern. If we don't set limits, then essentially people begin to think that reproductive medicine is a business, that they can go in and request absolutely anything, and we don't put enough energy into studying what happens to the kids. A societal discussion that we need to have for sure. Glenn McGee, thank you so much. Good to see you.